Several people have been killed after a hotel was hit by an avalanche in Italy. Up to 30 guests and staff were in the Rigo Piano Hotel on San Grasso Mountain in the central Abruzzo region. The avalanche was triggered by a series of powerful earthquakes which hit the area yesterday. Rescuers are having to ski to the hotel as roads are blocked by heavy snow. Well, we can speak to Andrea Vogt, a freelance journalist based in Italy. Andrea, what are you hearing about this? Well, there's a very, very complex rescue operation underway. Uh, as, as you mentioned, Joanna, uh, the first rescuers arrived on skis, um, and all of the emergency vehicles have not been able to get through uh, to the site. There are believed to be uh, up to 30 people, seven staff, and the rest were guests in this hotel when the earthquake and then the avalanche uh, hit. So right now, several people have been airlifted out to the Pesca Pescara Hospital, which is the nearest hospital um, with hypothermia. Of course, the, there were below freezing temperatures during the night, and the hotel was covered uh, with snow and debris, So, and part of it did collapse. So very, very difficult uh, conditions to survive in, and there are uh, fears that many may have perished uh, after this earthquake triggered a an avalanche. This uh, region has been hammered, hammered, just hammered in the last few months. Yeah, and um, tell us more about the the area. Is it a is it a popular area, a busy area with skiers? No, it's it's quite isolated. It's along the Grand Sasso Mountain, and you know some of these guests may indeed be uh, people who were displaced by the original earthquake. We don't know yet uh, who the guests were. We don't have a guest list. That will be one of the first things rescuers will try to do is extract the guest list of who is staying there. But it's a very remote area, very mountainous and remote. In fact, very difficult for rescuers to get in there. Um, you may be familiar with Amatricia, where the first if earthquakes hit last um, last August, that uh, church tower actually collapsed yesterday. So what we're seeing is many of these buildings that were made unstable by the first earthquakes uh, are now collapsing further. And uh, so lots of things, many hamlets haven't even been reached, but rescuers are focused right now on this hotel that was completely um, covered with debris and snow. There's about four meters of snow on site. Andrea, thank you very much indeed for updating us and we will of course keep you updated with the latest on that.